One of the easiest ways to be cool in 2022 is to show people that you can differentiate anything. So in this video, let's differentiate a quotient rule of a quotient rule case. So have a look right here. Here I have the derivative of, on the top we have sine, and then the input is x over 1 plus x squared. So you see that we have to have a quotient rule right there, right? But if it's just one quotient rule, it's not cool enough. So let's divide this by 1 plus cosine of, let's say the inside is ln of x. Yeah. Huh? What? You want? Oh, come on, seriously? Okay, fine. Let's put this as a cosine squared. Okay. Um, <laughs> here we go. We can go ahead and differentiate this guy. No big deal. Right? So, I'm going to square the denominator first. So, we will have parentheses with 1 plus cosine square of ln x and then square. That's done. And for the top, we will write down the bottom function first. So we will have parentheses 1 plus cosine square of ln x. Good. And then we multiply by the derivative of the top. The derivative of sine is cosine. And then the input state, so it's x over 1 plus x square. But don't forget, we will have to use the chain rule. So multiply by the derivative inside here, right? And that requires a quotient rule. Again, all right, so we will have, we square the bottom, which is one plus x squared, and then we square that. And then as for the top, same thing. Keep the bottom function, so we have one plus x squared, and we multiply by the derivative of the top, which is just a one, and then minus the top function, which is x. And we multiply by the derivative of the bottom, which is two x. All right, so far so good. And then continue minus the top function, which is sine of x over 1 plus x squared, and then we multiply by the derivative of the bottom. Derivative 1 is easy, just 0. Derivative of that, bring the 2 to the front, so we multiply this by 2, and then cosine of ln x. This right here stays. And then we multiply by the derivative of cosine, which is negative sine, so I'll just put down like this, negative sine, and then the input state, which is L and X. Yeah? Almost. Yeah? Don't, don't, don't forget about the quotient, the, the, the chain rule. Multiply by 1 over X because that's the derivative of Ln of X. So that's it. You see, you can always differentiate uh, anything that you want. Um, but what the... How am I going to simplify this? Let's, let's simplify this right here on top, yeah? So at least we can make some progress. So this is 1 plus x squared and then minus 2x squared. So all in all, it's just 1 minus x squared. So we have this over that. Okay, that, that, that's something. And then I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by this guy. So this guy will be on the bottom as well. Cool. And then I will also multiply by the x. So just keep that in mind. So yeah, I think that's all I'm going to do. So here we go. We will have the following. And usually we like to put on polynomials first. So I will do that. And the first thing is I multiply the top and bottom by x. So we will have an x for this part. So let's write down x. And then we see that we have this, which is 1 minus x squared. And then we have this and that. So we will just write down 1 plus cosine squared of ln x and then cosine of x over 1 plus x squared. So far, so good. Yeah, and for the second part, this is gone. Negative, negative, and also a 2, so it becomes a plus. So just emphasize we have a plus, and we have a 2. Yeah, and then remember we multiply this on top and bottom, so we will have this guy here. So we will have parentheses 1 plus x squared and the square, and then we just have to write down the rest, I believe. So perhaps I'll write this down first. So we have the sine of x over 1 plus x squared, and then cosine of ln x, and then lastly, we have the sine of ln x. So far, so good. You guys all agree? Hopefully.
Yeah. Okay. And ladies and gentlemen, all this divided by we multiply the x, so let's put the x down on the bottom. So put it down right here. And then we have that guy, which is 1 plus x squared and then square. And we also have this, which is parentheses with 1 plus cosine square of ln x. Like that. See, derivatives would not upside you, right? You can always differentiate it. I know you guys are going to mention about the y struts function, but you know. One day we'll try to differentiate it, even though it's not differentiable. We'll try, yeah? Anyway. Hopefully. Yeah, if you're in Calc 1, yeah, definitely do this. Show your teachers, your classmates, what's up, okay? I hope I didn't make anything wrong. <laughs> So what should we differentiate next? Leave a comment down below and let me know. That's it.